So I want to talk a little bit today about a set of tires that I picked up. Um, Dick CPEC Trail Country EXP. Uh, I just put these tires on, I guess, a couple days ago, two days ago. I don't have enough miles on them to talk about wear and you know things like that just yet but I will say out of the box it's probably one of the best tires that I've uh, that I've rode on um, the only way that I can really describe this tire is that it's very athletic it feels very responsive it feels uh, it just feels great you know um, now I'm not riding on uh, huge oversized tires either so that you know that that's a reason behind it I, I like the look of oversized tires I typically don't like the ride or um, the reliability in the rain a wider tire is going to hydroplane easier than a sensible size tire just riding on a, a on a plate compared to uh, you know something that's a proper footprint so I try to keep my tires sensible I want a functional tread I don't really go off-road I'm in the woods every now and again um, I just want to be capable sometimes I venture into the mountains of West Virginia I don't want problems you know and uh, so I pick my my tires based on that. I don't drive this truck a whole lot, but when I do most of the time, it's, uh, you know, it's on the highway, like most of us. Um, <clears throat> you know, for guys that have dedicated off-road vehicles, yeah, you're going to have a, a, a different opinion on your tires compared to, uh, to what I'm saying here. Um, but anyway, I replaced, you know, BFG KO2 tires. And the one thing that I will say um, size for size, the Dick CPEC tire is, is, is a more narrow tire than the BFG. Uh, as soon as I put them on, I noticed it. Um, so I was kind of wishing that I went up a size. Um, but you know, when you're buying tires, I'm not on a lifted, on a lifted, uh, vehicle. So I, you know, I didn't really know what I'd run into with a 285, 75, 16. I know some guys are getting away with um, just putting them on stock vehicles. And being that I picked these tires up from a tire rack, I didn't want to take the chance of, uh, of having something that didn't work out for me. Um, yeah, so I'm in love with these with these tires right now. Uh, this is a 265 75 16 on a uh, 1500 HD truck so it's you know it's closer to a 2500 than it is uh, a 1500 uh, it's an eight lug truck three quarters of the frame is the same as a 2500 after the rear axle there it um, it becomes a 1500 again after the rear axle. But, uh, yeah, I love these. I've, I've watched the CPEC brand for years and years, and I just never, I never pulled the trigger. And this is my first set. And, uh, you know, that kind of came about just because I'm trying to stay away from buying things that are not made in America um, you know so I really wanted a tire that's you know that's made in America um, this is one you know Cooper's another uh, I don't I don't know what it is about Cooper tires I'm just not I'm not a huge fan of them um, so you know, there was only a few things that I uh, that I looked into, and this was one of them. 
And this one checked the boxes. The price point on this tire picked up uh, because I have a tire rack warehouse literally uh, in walking distance from my house. All four of these tires were under 600. Um, if if they continue to perform and they last the way that they should, I'll be buying another set of these just in a uh, just in a larger size. They are quiet, all right? I mean quiet. They're, they just ride like a high quality tire. Um, there's no squishy sidewall. Sometimes, you know, you put, you put some tires on and you can feel that the sidewall is moving uh, independently from the tread. There's, there's none of that. I mean, it's, it's uh, I'm in love with the tire out of the box. So, keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to put this out there just for uh, anybody who might be interested or on the fence about the brand or, you know, what have you. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, thanks for watching.